Rob, Julie, prosecutors charged this man with first degree sexual assault. Police had him on their radar soon after the crime, but they had to let him go. Not this time. September 2015, just after midnight on a Friday. Court documents detail the attack near the Megasaver on Saddle Creek in Hamilton. A man told a 65-year-old woman he was her worst nightmare, then raped her twice. She later ran to the store for help, then went to the hospital. And with a rape exam underway, court documents show the suspect went there too. He wanted to know that she was okay or else he would definitely go back to prison. That suspect is Sean Sweet, now charged more than two years after the victim reported the attack. At the time of the crime, documents show Sweet matched the physical description of the victim's attacker and was found to be in possession of her ID. She even narrowed a photo lineup down to Sweet and another man. But when police did a DNA test, the results came back inconclusive. In March of this year, an Omaha police detective decided to follow up on the still unsolved case, ordering a new DNA exam of Sweet's untested underwear sitting in evidence the whole time. The test came back to a mixture of two people, Sweet and the victim. That was enough to make an arrest and for prosecutors to make a case. Police didn't have to go far to find him. He was already in jail for shoplifting a bottle of whiskey. Authorities tell me tonight it's common practice for police not to test every piece of evidence they gather in a case like this. Each one of those tests costs money and they tested DNA gathered right from Sweet. He will stay in jail unless he can meet a $300,000 bond before his next court appearance. Julie, back to you. Okay.